One minute to go. Tw half a minute to go, I should say. You're watching Ariane Space's Vega, flight number four, launching IXV for the European Space Agency. You can watch it all on the internet. Final countdown coming up. You hear the DDO call out the numbers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage P80, décollage. La trajectoire est normale, le pilotage est calme. Tous les paramètres à bord sont nominaux. Vega rise, you saw Vega rise like an arrow surprisingly fast if you're used to watching Ariane 5. Four seconds I think it took before she uh, cleared the pad. Those of you familiar with Ariane know that the heavier launcher rises a lot uh, more slowly. She weighs five, uh, over six times what Vega does. The DDO is saying that everything is normal on board, lifting off perfectly from French Guiana. Beginning the fourth mission in her young career. I can see from here the people, there's nobody left in the hall. They're all out on the terraces. They're snapping their cameras. Some are clapping as the Vega passes overhead. Acquisition de la télémesure lancer par la station navale lancer au large de la Guyane. Everything is okay on board. Salvatore, I imagine is snapping pictures. As soon as he comes in, we'll get his reaction. The first stage is burning now. La trajectoire est nominale. Tous les paramètres sont normaux. First stage weighs 97 tons. 88 tons of that are fuel. It's quite a heavy ratio. The first stage is produced near Rome at, at uh, Colifero, then delivered to the French Guiana propellant plant here, where it's loaded with fuel, and then transferred to the booster integration building. Coming up on separation of the first stage in just about three seconds, and you'll see that on the animation on the cartoon. Separation P80. There, the DDO has called out right on time at 53 Allumage kilometers up. And at a minute and 53 seconds, you see the ignition of the second stage. You can see on the bottom of the screen the altitude 62 kilometers and our speed on the right just over two kilometers per second. The second stage, called the Zephyro 23, ignited right on time, again at 53 kilometers up. In about a minute, we'll have separation of the second stage. Then uh, 30 seconds after that, the fairing will be jettisoned. You'll get to see that. Everything is functioning flawlessly on board, as the DDO Laura Polonini says, uh, calls out the numbers. Then in about six minutes and a half into the flight, we'll see separation of the last solid stage. Well, Salvatore has returned. He's beaming. What did you see out there? Yes, Joshua, it was really, really fun. Yes, Joshua, it was really, really fantastic. A wonderful view, not many clouds. We could see it up to very high, very bright light of the engine and then the sound coming up after a few few seconds after seeing it uh, going up really exciting what was the most impressive the the, the sight of the, the sound the light was really bright i mean the the, the, the p80 the first stage uh, uh, flame uh, was really incredible all right now that you're back take a look at the upper right hand corner of the screen there's a curve there you see uh, the cursor climbing up the path there as we have extinction of the second stage. What are we looking at on the upper Yes, right? what you are looking there is basically the uh, predicted trajectory, and the, uh, which is the, the, the curve there, and the dot which move is the actual current position. So it means that if you see the dot on the curve, everything is uh, nominal and as predicted. Because I think we have two flight paths superimposed one on the other. We have the optimal flight path and with that is the actual. The actual one, yes. So as long as we're one on top of another, we're right where we should be. The DDO is just called out the ignition of the third stage, and there you saw the separation of the fairing revealing the reentry demonstrator to the elements.